The problem with Professor Mac One's machines was that they kept catching squirks. Like the rest of us, catch germs, holes, chicken box, and what have you. <laughs> the professor's machines, whenever they had to make too great an effort, whenever something got stuck in the works, flop, the squirks jumped in. And this caused the machines to become overstressed. They itched, they sneezed, and sometimes just fell apart. If you could catch a squirk and put it under the microwave microscope, this is what it would look like. Sort of like a duck but without any wings and not really curvy or possibly like a crocodile but square and with only two legs apart from messing up the professor's machines the squirks generally didn't do much of anything they led very simple peaceful lives They lived in corners, or drawers, or pipes, or cupboards. Mac 2, Professor Mac 1's loyal assistant, found them a terrible nuisance. And even though Mac 2 wasn't all that handy with his hat, he was very good indeed with a broom. In fact, he used his broom for most of his housework. But there was no way he could get rid of the squirks once and for all. Anyway, the professor's machine for counting up to slout bought a bunch of squirks and broke down, so... Uh, well, the professor had to invent a new machine.